Mela's Dress, Us Stories and Pictures by Nikki Daly. Do you remember what the person that draws the pictures is called? An illustrator. That's right. Mama was very pleased with the, with the new material she had found at Nandy's. She had worked hard to earn money for it. It's beautiful, Mama, said Jamela, stroking the crisp new material. Yes, it's beautiful. It costs a lot of money. But I need something special to wear for Thelma's wedding, said Mama. Jamela helped Mama wash and stiffen, wash the stiffness out of the new material. Together, they hung it up to dry. I'll look after it, Mama, said Jamela. Thank you, said Mama. Just make sure Taxi doesn't jump up and dirty my material. Okay, said Jamela. What do you guys think? You don't like that material? I think it's very pretty. Why do you think it was stiff? warm breeze blew. Jamila rubbed her cheeks against the soft material and followed the beautiful patterns with her fingers. When Taxi barked, Mama called. Jamila, are you looking after my material? Yes, Mama. It's getting nice and dry, said Jamila. Dreamily, Jamila swayed between the folds of the material as they flapped and wrapped around her in an, into a dress. Down the road went Jamila, proud as a peacock, to show Thelma her beautiful dress for the wedding. She passed Miss Styles hairdressers and the snack pack grocery. Hi, beautiful, called old greasy hands, who was fixing up Thelma's wedding car. Children sang. Coila, Jamila, African queen. Taxi barked, and Miss Zeebie's chicken went wild. Why do you think the chicken went wild? Then the boys on the bicycle, who wasn't looking where they were going, went skidding all over Mama's dress material. What a show. In the photo studio, Archie heard the commotion. He ran out, clutching his special camera, and shouted, Hold it, Jamela! Jamela posed. The children pushed in. Taxi pushed in. Miss Zeebe and her chicken pushed in. And the boy on the bicycle just squeezed in. They all smiled. Click! This sounds like something Miss Amanda would do. Miss Amanda loves taking pictures. But then, Thelma saw Jamela. She scalded. Aye! Jamila, your mom is going to be very upset when she sees what you've done with her material. And Mama was. Mama was so upset that she couldn't even look at Jamila. She looked at the dirty, torn material and said sadly, What am I going to wear for the wedding? Everyone <laughs> felt sorry for Mama. And cross with Jamila. Even Jamila was cross with Jamila. She hadn't meant to ruin Mama's material. It just happened. Have you guys ever done something like that? Where you were supposed to be taking care of something and you didn't? A few days later, Archie saw Jamila coming down the road without her usual, usual smile. He called, Hey Jamila, why, you, why so sad? Come see the good news. Pointing to the front page photograph in the newspaper, Archie read proudly, Kuila Jamela, African Queen, a prize-winning photograph taken by Archie Kum Kumalao. But instead of looking happy, Jamela started to cry, and she told Archie all about Mama's messed up materials.
That's a sad, sad story, Jamila, said Archie, but it has a happy ending. He put his hand into his bag. Jamila wiped her eyes. See, said Archie, taking out a bundle of money. I won big bucks for that photograph. Jamila had never seen so much money. What do you think they're going to do with that money? You can buy lots of things at the shops with that money, Archie, said Jamila. Right, Archie laughed. That's the happy ending. What do you think it is? In the afternoon, Archie arrived carrying a gift for Jamila's mom. What is this, Archie? Mommy, Mama asked. In surprise, Open it, Mama. Open it, cried Jamila. Mama unwrapped the parcel. Inside was a beautiful piece of material from Nandy's. Just like the first piece. Jamila jumped up and down. Inkusi. Coco. Hula. Thank you, Archie, said Mama. No, you must think. Quilla Jamela, African Queen, said Archie, opening, oh, holding up his prize-winning photo, photograph. When Mama saw it, it gave, she gave Jamela a big hug. After Archie had gone, Jamela helped Mama wash the material and hang it up to dry. It's the most beautiful material in the world, said Jamela. Mama just smiled. They sang songs as they watched the feathery patterns dance in the warm breeze. Then Mama and Jamila played a hand clapping game for a while. Do you know any hand clapping games that you can play? Let's do teapots, Mama, cried Jamila. So Jamila taught Mama to do a little song about a teapot with a spout. They dipped and tipped, and the tea poured out. You guys know that song? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, then I shout, tip me over and pour me out. When they stopped, the material felt warm and dry. So Mama showed Jamila how to fold it. Just as she had learned to do when she was a little girl. Have you ever helped fold some towels or a big old sheet? That evening, Mama cut and sewed until she had her special dress to wear to Thelma's wedding. When she finished, there was a piece of material left over. Mama measured it with her eye, this way and that way. Then she looked at Jamila, at sleeping Jamila, and smiled. What do you think she smiled? What do you think she's going to do with that leftover material? What would you do with it? The hands of the clock passed midnight, and Mama was still hard at work. Every now and then, she sang softly to herself, Puella Jamila, African Queen. Next day, at the wedding, Thelma looked radiant. She looked familiar. What about the clothing? Does that clothing look familiar to you? Mama looked lovely. And Archie said, smile everyone. And guess who had the biggest smile? Quella, Jamela, African Queen. That's who. Look at her dress. What do you like about that dress? The end.